Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the league, not a player was stirring, not even Galli. Their jerseys were hung, and their lockers with care, in hopes that that Calder Cup would soon be there. The fans were all nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of cup parades danced in their heads. And Tom are in his office, and I near my tree, and just turning in for the big reverie. Back in Bridgeport, there arose such a rattle, I turned on the computer to see who was in battle. Off to the sofa, I flew in a dash. AHO Live has the feed, it starts in a flash. The lights on the sheet of the freshly laid ice gave way to blue and orange, scoring twice. When what to my eyes should appear, but 23 players competing with hockey gear. With coach deciding who was starting, I knew it must be Scooter Vaughn. More rapid than a tiger with the players that came, and he whistled and shouted, they called them by name. Go Halmo, go Graham, go McDonald and Sonny, go Legio, go Mollerite, go Pelican and Stretchy. To the top of the pool, be a defensive wall, now score a goal, block a shot, defeat them all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricanes fly, when they meet with an obstacle, rise their game high. So up through the standings, the players they flew, with a slew of big goals and defensive plays too. And then in a twinkling, I heard the crowd war, Harry Z cut through the defense, and we wanted more. As I drew in my head, and the excitement grew, down the length of ice, Scooter Vaughn flew. He was dressed in orange and blue, from his helmet to skates, the BST logo on the chest looked great. A big defenseman he carried on his back, but with the speed and strength, broke away from the pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His drool left his mouth, drawn up like a bow. His teeth were clenched, as wide as the snow. The shaft of the stick held tight in his hands, as the cheering grew from the crowd in the stands. He had a gleam in his eye as he deked to the left, before juking to the right with a move to so deft. Vaughn was alone by himself, with a wide open net. As the goalie guessed wrong, his fate had been met. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head, Vaughn scored a goal and put the game to bed. He spoke not a word, but thanked his teammates roundly, another win after beating his opponent soundly. And laying his helmet inside of his stall, he was thankful to be part of it all. This is my guess with a solid reason, a Mike Helmo cookie this holiday season. So get ready for hockey, things are looking up. We can't wait till June to host the Calder Cup.